are you ready for the next Nintendo Direct? Ho, 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 ho. You better be because it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Before we get into that, I got to remind you, we have two giveaways going on right now. Uh, one of them is for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. To enter that, go down to the description. Uh, hit the gleam.io link. Uh, there you go. You can also join at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for as little as $1 a month. Get to 15 entries in every giveaway we do. Also, I have a second giveaway going on for a uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. And then two second place winners win a game of choice. To enter that, go down in the description as well. There's a laundry list of ways to enter. Subscribing to the channel, following on Twitter, go on Discord, hitting that bell icon. All that jazz. So do that, uh, and good luck. Oh, wow. Winners announced October 1st. <laughs> so let's get into this. Sorry, it's been kind of a crazy morning. We, we've had some amazing news earlier uh, from Shintura Furukawa about how Nintendo is going to dominate, basically, and, and go after uh, cutting-edge technology inside the next Switch. But they also announced at the very end of that meeting that they had last night, they had, they had this uh, uh, impromptu investors meeting last night, that there is a new partner direct now they also announced this at the same time on social media but the point is there is going to be a new nintendo direct mini partner showcase now normally you know that's it is what it is the last partner showcase you know didn't really impress the one before that did have um you know shimigami tensei 5 in it uh so that was really exciting for some people obviously three remastered as well but what makes this one interesting is at Aesthetic Gamer, a.k.a. Dust Golem, who has been a Capcom leaker for quite some time, put out there that Monster Hunter Switch is a thing. Monster Hunter Switch is happening. Monster Hunter has a game, you know, Capcom has a Monster Hunter game exclusively being made for Switch. And what makes it interesting is after Nintendo announced his partner showcase, he went out there because he, he knows about four major games. So he, he went out there and he said, I'll just blatantly say it. At the start of this year, back in February, I said there'd be four big titles capcom would announce and two of them would be resident evil games including resident evil 3 announced at the time resident evil 8 was supposed to release in january 2021 before covid struck and the other two games at the time were monster hunter switch and street fighter 6 street fighter 6 was supposed to release this year but it got a year delayed due to trouble and direction from Ono's decisions and someone else taking over. Capcom still have been very much gunning for resident evil 8 and monster hunter switch this fiscal year so the reason I bring this up is because we're getting towards the end of the year. If there's going to be a new Monster Hunter game, it's got to get announced soon. You know, Monster Hunter would do huge this year, especially in Japan. Monster Hunter on Switch would be a massive seller. You know, it, it could sell 4 or 5 million on Switch. I, I, I think no problem. It, it'll be the most successful Monster Hunter game on a Nintendo platform ever. I, I, I have no doubt about that. So this is what makes this partner showcase exciting tomorrow, is that if there's going to be a Monster Hunter, this is where it would be announced. It would be announced in a partner showcase. It would be announced in a partner showcase direct. An exclusive Monster Hunter game for Switch? This is how you do it. Now you might say, oh, they saved that for a general direct. Well, are we getting a general direct? Does it look like we're getting a general direct? Partner showcases, they have no problem showing off um, anything. It's not just indie games. If it was just indie games, it would be an indie world. No, they show off games from their AAA partners. So, hey, you know, it could be time. We could also end up seeing Octopath Traveler 2. We know that's in development. Maybe we finally see Bravely to Vault, Vault 2 again. We haven't seen that in a while. The point is, this partner showcase, is, there's reason to be hyped because uh, because of this um, you know, from Dust Golem, you know, this, this rumor out there about a Monster Hunter for Switch. But beyond that, because Nintendo gave us games now. We, we can't complain. We got the 35th Anniversary Direct. We got Age of Calamity. It's hard to complain now about announcements from Nintendo, which to me frees up my mind to be super hyped about these partner showcases to see what everyone else is doing. I think if that 35th anniversary thing happened before any of these partner showcases, people would have never been upset at partner showcases in the first place. But, uh, boy, man, I'm so hyped. Um, you know, as I sit here and I speculate what else could be in it, um, you know, I, they don't really focus on indie games in it because that's what indie worlds are for. So I'm, I'm actually curious. Uh, are we going to finally see Doom Eternal on Switch? You know, that's been in development for Switch since before Doom Eternal even came out. Uh, and we just haven't seen it. And we know Panic Button's doing it. Uh, and as far as we're aware, it hasn't been canceled. So we have to be seeing that at some point, right? I don't know if we're going to see it now. Uh, we know there's new DLC coming out for Civilization VI that's supposed to come to Switch as well. Uh, remember, Civ VI is on Switch, uh, so that, that that's something that could happen. Um, and, and as you look forward to, to new announcements, you know, I, I'm i not sure uh, what, what new could be announced because third parties have kind of, I guess, talked about things. I mean, we could see Immortals Phoenix Rising, 
like actual Switch gameplay because that's launching on Switch day and date with all the other versions. So we could technically see some Switch footage for for once because we haven't we we have no idea what it actually looks like on Nintendo Switch. But I mean, that's talking big games. They also show little games. You know, you guys remember, um, you know, that that stupid wrestling game they showed last time. There's gonna be smaller partnership games in there too. I don't know what, what what's considered small these days though, right? Like I think small. I start to think indie. But then, you know, is Bravely Default two considered small? I remember when Octopath Traveler was announced. That was considered small at the time, even though it ended up selling really well. It's an interesting thing to think about. Um. And I'm curious, you know, what you guys actually want to see in it. Because what you guys want to see in it maybe is, is what excites me the most. And remember, there is the PlayStation 5 event later today. Um, we'll see if I live stream it. I, I'm kind of planning to stream it, but we'll see. I'm, I'm not 100% sold on, uh, on doing it just yet. I kind of had a crazy day yesterday. For those who don't know, we hit 50,000 subscribers yesterday. Man, I can't believe I, I can even say that out loud. We're, we're probably at 51 by the time you hear this. We're on our road to 100K. I can't believe I'm even saying that out loud. We are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. That silver play button. Um, viewership's been going nuts. I, thank you all for, for tuning in. I hope that you guys stick around, even if I'm not talking about Mario, because this video is not about Mario. The last video wasn't about Mario. Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, you know, are, are here for more than just the Mario. Although I will be doing an impression video on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, I still, I still want to know that you guys will be around. Uh, for other content as well, because I am a Nintendo YouTuber. I don't just focus on one uh, on one game, even if it's the focus of the moment. All right, folks. I can't. I Guys, I, I said this on live stream, and I, I'm going to say this now. It means so much to me that you guys tune into my videos. Yeah, the giveaways are cool and everything. Yeah, when people do, like, big donations during live streams, it's cool. I appreciate all that. You know, all the support on Patreon. I appreciate all that. But you guys, the viewers, are what make this exciting for me what make me enjoy content creating yeah there's some level of enjoying editing level of enjoy recording and reporting on things but honestly if you guys weren't watching the, the joy just wouldn't be there so it is so exciting to me to see all these people excited about video games and excited about nintendo at the same time and deciding my channel is the channel they want to watch for this stuff my channel is the channel they want to hit that bell icon my channel is the one that they want to click on every video and I know some of it's for the giveaway. I get it. I know the giveaways incentivize it a little bit, but come on. Be honest. How many of you guys are here for the content too? Not just the giveaways, the content. I know because I've seen it in the comment section. So many people mentioning they're here for the content, not just the giveaways. Although the giveaways are obviously nice. <laughs> I mean, come on. They are. All right. That's all right. That's all I got. Thank you guys for tuning in. I don't want to cry over here. I already cried last night. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next video.